Bonjour, j'espère que vous allez très bien. In this uh, second lesson, so part two, about how to ask questions in French with FrenchSpanishOnline.com and myself, we are going to see and keep it with the yes-no question. But this time we are going to speak about the inversion, so the second part. Inversion. What an inversion is in French when it is about questions? Well, you've got, for example, tu chantes, you sing, which is a sentence, affirmative sentence, an inversion. Well, you understand that you are just going to swap the subject with the verb. So, the verb, the subject which is at the beginning now is at the end. And if you don't forget the question mark and the iPhone here, you've got your question. Okay? You just put the subject at the end. And we've got we inversion question, yes, no question. Chantes-tu? And chantes-tu, the meaning is the same as est-ce que tu chantes, as we saw in the first lesson. Do you think? Let's see now inversion present tense. So now you know this example. Chantes-tu? Let's see the second one. Chantes-il? Does he sing? Here, as you can see, there is something special. Actually, we add a T. This T has nothing to do with grammar. It's just to improve the pronunciation when you speak. And because we say it when you speak, we also write it. That's why when you've got here a subject and a verb with two vowels, here the letter E and here the letter I, you need the letter T before to better the pronunciation and say chantil. Chantil. Daddy sing. Okay? And it's a rule. Chantons-nous? Chantons-nous? Do we sing? Let's see more yes, no questions in English. Have you got brothers? As-tu des frères? As you can see, the inversion is just between the verb and the subject. We don't touch the rest of the sentence. As-tu des frères? Are you singing? Chantes-tu? And the negative form is, in this case, ne chantes-tu pas? Or chantes-tu pas? Ne chantes-tu pas? Don't you sing? The past tense now, it's a question of passé composé. So, as-tu chanté? As-tu chanté? The meaning is, did you sing? And again, the same meaning as, est-ce que tu as chanté? As-tu chanté? A-t-il chanté? Did he sing? And because we've got two vowels here, you also need the T between and don't forget the two hyphens, a-t-il chanté, to better the pronunciation, instead of saying, a-il chanté. Avons-nous chanté, did we sing? And the negative form is, n'as-tu pas chanté? N'as-tu pas chanté, did not you sing? Let's see now the future, with the inversion, future tense. Chanteras-tu? Chanteras-tu? Will you sing? Again, our T for chantera-t-elle? Will she sing? Chantera-t-elle? And chanterons-nous? Will we sing? Chanterons-nous? The negative form is Ne, chant ne chanteras-tu pas? Ne chanteras-tu pas? Won't you sing? Okay, so there is no special difficulty in this lesson. You understand easily what an inversion is. The thing is actually, even if this kind of questions are shorter, we use more the esque question in French. So instead of saying ne chanteras-tu pas, it is more common to hear est-ce que tu ne chanteras pas, even if it's longer. Okay? So, c'est fini for this part two. Merci beaucoup. On se voit bientôt because the part three will be about colloquial questions and also questions with a proper noun as like uh, Peter or Charlotte. In the part three, if you want to go to this uh, video right now, you can click on the button. Au revoir et bon français.